Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. This week's Most Wanted is being brought to you from the Queen Anne's County's 4-H Fair. Hopefully this year I got to see you at the fair. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman, and this week at the Queen Anne's County Fair almost marks a 20-year anniversary of a very tragic event that occurred in Queen Anne's County in the town of Queen Anne. On August 24th, 1992, a motorist passing a house in the town of Queen Anne, a little brick rancher noticed something suspicious. The motorist decided to summon law enforcement and emergency services personnel. What they discovered was a person that appeared to be lying unconscious on the front steps of the rancher. When emergency services personnel arrived, along with sheriff deputies and allied police agencies, they discovered Herman Dolly Callahan had been gunned down in the foyer of his residence. He was noted in the community as a keen business person. He was a landlord, he was a farmer, and he also hauled livestock. An intensive search of the area by deputies, Maryland State Police, and allied agencies located Mr. Callahan's farm cattle truck in the location of the Queen Anne Armory in Hillsborough in Queen Anne. To date, there has been no explanation as to why the person may have moved that cattle truck from his house to the armory location. A search of the residence revealed that there was no forced entry. Interviews of Mr. Herman Dolly Callahan's family revealed that he probably wouldn't have opened the door for a stranger, so it's probably somebody that he knew. 17 years have passed since this brutal homicide. The Office of the Sheriff of Queen Anne's County knows that there's someone out there that knows information about this case. We're encouraging you to come forward, contact us by a tip, an email, or a phone call so we can bring this brutal killer to justice. I'm actually here with the daughter of Herman Dolly Callahan, and I'm here with Dolly Ann Callahan Goad. And I wanted to just, one, tell you how sorry I am and how sorry the community is genuinely about the loss of your dad. And some things you can tell us about your dad? Well, this whole tragedy has been really hard on the family with everything that's going on and not knowing who's out there and who's did it. And I just can't believe no one has come forward. I mean, there was a lot of people that liked my father, a lot of people that have come up to me. We have racehorses, and I can't tell you the people that also have are in a cattle business have come to me and said, your father was a wonderful person. We really miss him. And I, it's, it's just hard to cope with. It's really been rough. And your dad was very prominent in the cattle community. Your dad was very well known yes. with the community as far as he was a landlord, did a lot yes. of the tenant yes. stuff. He had, had a, a liquor store also, and he had several rental properties. Um, he was uh, well known at Hilton Sale Barn. He got up to Mannheim, New, New Holland, New Jersey. He, he got around a lot of places. He was well known everywhere. So it's really important that if somebody sees this that knows somebody in the Felton area or Mannheim area, yes. any little bit of information is what we're yeah. asking. Anything, just anything, if anybody could just come forward and anything that somebody's got to say, they, they heard something, they saw something that morning. I know it was a very foggy morning, but someone had to see that truck leave Dad's property, that house that morning, and for it to be parked over there to the National Guard Armory. So close. It was close, it was very close. And, yeah. and you know, the, the thing is, somebody out there knows something, and 20 years has gone by, and I'm sure somebody would like to clear their conscience and, you know, just give information to help us solve this case. Uh, somebody, there, you know, somebody else was there, somebody saw something and knows something, and look, I want to tell you how I'm very thankful that you came here tonight. Yes, I, know I finally got to meet you. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got to meet you other than yes. talking on the phone. Yes. But you know, the one thing I can say is, is that the support that you bring by coming up here to the fair, thank you yes. again, and we're going to do everything we can to help you with this. Okay. All right? Thank you. The first person we're profiling on our Most Wanted show this week is Dylan Otto Necker. 
Mr. Necker is wanted. He's a tier three sex offender. And for those of our citizens in Queen Anne's County that know, we're extremely strict. And one thing we don't tolerate are sex offenders preying on our small children. This guy here is one of the most serious sex offenders that we have out there who's an absconder. He's actually failed to report for his registry. He's actually now wanted. We need your help finding this guy. Dylan Otto Necker is a white male, 28 years of age. He's five foot nine inches tall and weighs about 140 pounds. He has brown hair and blue eyes. His last known address was Chester River Drive in Graysonville, Maryland. He may be living in the Bluefield, Virginia area. Dylan Necker is wanted on sex offender charges. On September 19, 2012, he was required to notify us of any changes of his address in five or more days. He was last seen at an office visit in June 19th of 2012. This guy's wanted. If you've seen this guy, we're urging the community, please contact local law enforcement, send this around to all your friends and family. This is one guy who failed to register and needs to be arrested. David Andrew Kinder. Mr. Kinder is a white male. He's 44 years of age. He has brown hair and hazel eyes. Mr. Kinder is five foot four inches tall, weighs about 155 pounds. He's wanted on a failing to appear charge, which has turned into a warrant on July 13th of this year. It's a circuit court warrant, him being wanted for a controlled dangerous substance of not marijuana. Last known address is Alberta Place in Hughesville, Charles County, Maryland. Was working at one time doing home contracting sales for American Choice Foods. The next person we're profiling is somebody that really needs the attention of the public, Larry Jean Smith. This guy's a 42-year-old white male. He's wanted on charges and an arrest warrant has been issued for leaving the scene of a fatal accident. Larry Jean Smith was convicted on a failure to return and remain at the scene of an accident. He has not reported to his probation agent since October of 2011. In the past, he's worked as a construction worker. His last known address was Laurel Hill Road in Greenbelt, Maryland. If you know the whereabouts of Larry Jean Smith or have any information to bring this guy to justice, please contact our office as soon as possible. I want to take this time to thank all the viewers on QAC TV, all the viewers on YouTube and those on Facebook, and all of the thanks to the Queen Anne's County Commissioners as well as QAC TV and you, the community member and the citizen, for all of your support in making sure that we apprehend the bad guys. From this year, from the Queen Anne's County Fair, glad to see you guys. Have a great fair. See you next year. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.